property join us today as we review the new Ozcision flexi vans and trailers. Um, these are a new product just out from Ozcision and uh, we're going to give them a run on the Kingsview Model Railway. So these models came in uh, last week. I purchased them from Kishula Hobbies. Uh, I try to purchase always from hobby shops as best I can. I note on the Oscision website they they seem to have been taken down, so they may very well have all been sold. I've actually bought a uh, a number of these. I think I bought two packets of them, um, or which contain four wagons in each. And then I bought uh, 16 odd uh, containers. Now, the containers just simply lift off. They have two little locating points here and here uh, for locating back onto the uh, wagon itself. And I find that that's quite, quite okay. Um, but I do find that as they run around the layout that they work a little bit loose. Also, you know, the flexi van concept has been designed so that, you know, you can that you know, in reality these swivel around like so, you know, I'm gonna balance it there, and then uh, you know, prime mover can move in and then take them away. Um, that's quite difficult to model in reality uh, because the pivoting point here, uh, you know, you've got to really try and balance it. So it's quite a difficult thing to do. I also find that in this particular model that these, you know, as they tra uh, traverse the layout, yeah, you know, they rattle a little bit as you know, as they go over the frogs, and they do rattle a little bit loose, so I've sort of got to keep an eye on that. An easy fix by just a little dab of glue, uh, you know, once these are permanent. Um, Oxygen have done a great job on these, you know, they've got period um, period uh, paint jobs, um, you know, with, with pad printing, um, which reflect, um, certainly reflect uh, the period. Um, you know, these are, you know, from the 70s and 80s, um, and it's probably about as far into the future that I like to model, but um, I'll give it a run around in a sec. But um, uh, the wagons themselves, um, nicely constructed. I'll just lift off the uh, containers here and uh, nicely, uh, nicely constructed, uh, fairly heavy uh, metal construction, um, KDs on each end. Um, but a couple of them are showing a little bit of warping up towards uh, the end here, this one here. It's got a little bit of warping. Uh, I have one other. A little bit of bending just here will get them back straight, but um, really um, a little bit surprised that you know that they need to be adjusted uh, because you know they've got a little bit of warping. Um, the only other product I've ever had that's you know cast like this um, were those explorers that you know ended up with a you know big banana you know big banana in the middle of them. So um, detail on these is fine. There they've got uh, you know realistic. Um, uh, brake mechanisms, nice coupling, nice very clear pad printing uh, on the uh, uh, on the ends there. So I'll just zoom in there so that you can see that. So just uh, zoom in. The pad printing there is uh, really nicely done. Um, you know, Oscision's printing is always um, you know right uh, to the to the highest possible standard. So um, nice KD couplers fitted at each end. Um, and they seem to be uh, the correct NMRI, NMRI height as well. So, you know, these wagons will, uh, you know, go through our uh, Kingsview weathering process over time, um, you know, because, you know, there's a lot of uh, dirty and murk out there, but um, certainly uh, are, they, are these things a good model? Yes, they are, um, but a little bit, uh, you know, you have to have a, a fairly good budget to purchase. So. To buy a rake of four of these, um, you know, you're looking at $300, and then you need to buy $45 worth of containers so that, the, that they come in a pack of two. So each wagon's gonna owe you $75.50, and each container's gonna cost you, you know, $20 to $23. So, and then by the time you have freight. So a consist of two, you know, say eight wagons with containers will, will cost you, very close to a thousand dollars, so um, you know you do need to have deep pockets to run a container uh, freight that's uh, half realistic on a layout these days. 
One thing that I, I suppose that I find um, interesting with containerised freight, um, I've been reticent to um, reticent to run it on this layer only because um, of finding something that's of good enough quality um, and also the cost. You know, you know, to have a couple of rakes of container um, container based trains cost you two or three thousand dollars. So certainly cost you a lot of money, but. Um, all, uh, you know, all congratulations to Oscision on these new models. Um, I think they've obviously sold out pretty quick. Um, you know, they came in pretty quick, and I only just noticed them, you know, as I was as I was surfing around, uh, you know, looking for uh, looking for uh, you know some new bits and pieces. But um, certainly, uh, you'll see shortly as I as you know we run this train around, so that you can see all the different containers. You know, they are very realistic, and you know. It's interesting because in reality, you know, containerised freight ought to be the way that we send freight around the country more than we already do. I know we've got inland rail coming and we know that there's a lot of containerised freight out there now, but with some really smart thinking and obviously the uh, trailer rail uh, concept, uh, you know, having a trailer that you, know, you can just swing around, put a prime mover on and drive it straight off and take it away, to me makes a lot of sense. now. Why they're not used more than they are, I don't know. And that's, you know, if you know why they're not more popular than they are, you know, please feel free to comment in the video in the comments below. But um, certainly, you know, these are great models of a of a period when you know freight was uh, strong and containerised. Um, you know, all sorts of people used them from TNT to Fridgemobile, all trans, um, you know, and some of these companies, AFE and and, and a few others. And in reality, uh, these these particular containers are very, very finely detailed. Um, you know, they look they look really good. Um, but I think the only my only small point with them is just getting them located on here, like that one there was just a little bit out again, and getting them to stay on. Um, you know, if you're going to a, a club and you're running these regularly, I'd probably recommend that you probably just put a little spot of glue on them and glue them down, and then they're not going to move around so much. And you know, if you're doing dioramas or whatever. Yeah, you'd have to do a bit of work to you know, glue them into position or whatever. But um, overall, a fine model. So we'll uh, let's go do do some running.
all up. These are a fine model. Uh, thank you, Oxygen, for bringing them out. And uh, you know, there's a number of different uh, liveries for the uh, containers. Uh, certainly, nicely printed. Uh, you know, they make a fine addition to the roster here at the Kingsview Model Railway. And uh, you know, if you can still get some, uh, uh, go out there and grab what you can, and uh, you know, en enjoy these uh, uh, great models of, of trailer rail um, containerised uh, vans and wagons. Uh, as I said, the detail on them is uh, is very, very good and uh, you know, they make a worthy addition to your layout. So I hope you've enjoyed this quick mini review. I, you know, I'm not going to go into fine detail on every tiny little part of the, part of the uh, uh, wagons themselves, but in reality they are you know, a lovely model and uh, well worth the money. So I hope you enjoyed this quick uh, review and uh, please like and subscribe if you like our content. Mm -hmm.